Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with .NET Framework. Whenever you try to install any application, you got the error .NET Framework Initialization Error. To run this application, you must install one of the following versions of .NET Framework. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, head over to Settings menu, choose Windows Update, and if any update is pending at your end, make sure you choose the option Download and Install to make your operating system up to date. Next is click on Start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. In command prompt, you need to type two commands one by one. First one is SFC space slash scan now and then hit the enter key. Now wait for this command to finish scanning and fixing the corrupted files of your system. Once this command is completed, again in command prompt, you need to type in another command which is dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health and then hit the enter key. Make sure you perform both the commands one by one and do not perform simultaneously as I am doing right over here. I did this just to teach you how to use these commands. Once both the commands are completed, make sure to restart your PC and then try to install the application. If this failed to work out, in next step, right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here appwis.cpl and then hit the enter key. Now in this left pane, click on the option turn windows feature on and off. Now over here, expand 3.5 as well as 4.8. Make sure you check back each and every option available under 3.5 as well as under 4.8. Once you check mark all those options under 4.8 and 3.5, go ahead and hit the OK button. This will go ahead and install .NET Framework and in turn help you fix out the issue of .NET Framework initialization error. If this method also failed to work out, let's proceed with the third step. Open up your browser and in the address bar, you need to paste a link which I will share you in the description of this video. Once pasted, hit the enter key. Now scroll down and click on the option download to download .NET Framework Repair Tool. Save it into your system and once it is saved, go ahead and launch it. It will automatically help you fix out the issue with .NET Framework. Just simply proceed with the on-screen instructions and hit the next button to finishing repairing the .NET Framework installation files for you. Once it is done, your problem of .NET Framework will be fixed out by now. However, if all the method fails, the last hope you have is to again open up your browser and you need to download this particular KB update. You need to download this KB update for your PC. This link is for 64 base system and the last link is for the 32 bit system. Go ahead and depending upon the type of system you have, just download it into your system. Save it into your PC and once it is saved, go ahead and run it. This will install in your system. Once the update is installed, you need to open this official website of .NET Framework. Go ahead and whatever the error .NET Framework is showing, you need to download that particular version offline installer. Make sure you download the offline installer, which can be downloaded from this particular link developer pack. Scroll down and here are the other versions available for .NET Framework. So make sure you download only the offline installer. The current offline installer is for 4.8. Click on the developer pack, save it into your system and again once this file is downloaded, go ahead and you need to install this particular file in your system to fix out the issue of .NET Framework initialization error. I am again telling you, whatever the version is showing in the error message, you need to download that particular .NET Framework from this offline installer. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.